Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, today is January 5th. It uh, got real, real cold last night up here. It was uh, minus four. I got home this morning at 8.30 and it was still minus two out this morning. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the solar. Um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, I need to get a charge control or, you know, something while I'm running the generator to um, run the, run the uh, you know, to charge up the batteries, okay? Well, let's see. Okay. Now, right now, I really can't see. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Okay. So they're both, both are green at the moment, okay? Um, earlier, I was in float charge, and uh, let's see where we're at here. I want to turn this on real quick. Yeah, okay. Um, right now it's saying it's 13.4, but earlier it was at 14.4. It's getting darker now. The sun is actually off the panels. As you can see, the sun's not on there. It's still getting sunlight, but the sun's not on the panels. Um, anymore. So anyway, it's in, it was in flow charge. The batteries are freaking really cold. Um, that's got to be a project that's going to be addressed very, very soon. Um, you know, still working on some stuff inside, and uh, I'll do another video on that later. But I wanted to talk about, you know, people saying um, getting something hooked up so that when the generator's running, to charge up the batteries. Um, I mentioned it in yesterday's video. I have not been running the uh, solar power very much at all just because it has been so cold and I don't want to drain the batteries down. So I haven't been running the gener or the, uh, the solar very much at all. We don't now okay let me let me kind of give you a little bit of a background of what we kind of do here. Um, at night we don't run the power at all. So there's no power on at all at night. Everybody's sleeping, so there's no reason to. So um, generally, when I go to work, everything gets shut down. Kids go to bed because you know Heather has school in the morning and everything else. So and Eddie's going to be starting homeschooling very soon. I got all the paperwork, and that's going to be happening very very soon. Um, so then in the morning when I come home, and here comes Eddie from sledding. Were you sledding? Yeah. How was it? Good. Good. Okay. All right. We'll go inside and get warmed up. Okay. Um, That's what I was going to do anyway. Okay, Bob. Also, Papa was being a dog. Yeah, we're going to go sliding with me. Okay, that's all right. It happens. So, um, anyway, so when I come home in the morning, I, the, solar's, or the, uh, the generator power's not on then either because I go to sleep. Eddie's generally asleep still at that point. He's a teenager. They'll sleep, you know, 12 hours a day. So generally what we do is in the afternoon we throw the generator on. We may have the generator running four, maybe five hours a day normally. Um, that's it. It's not like we're running a thing nonstop all the time. Um, you know, it, again, it comes down to want and need. You know, um, in the evening when the kids are home, I like to have the generator on for them so that they can go online and do what they want to do in that aspect. So it's not like we're using it all the time. Now, obviously when the weather gets better and we start getting more sunlight, which we're starting to get more sunlight now, we will run more on solar as we get more power in. Once I hook up the other panels, we'll have more power capacity to bring in as well. So, I mean, that's the upcoming project is working on the solar. It really is. So I don't want you to think we're, like, we're running the batteries down. I, that, that's why I haven't been running them, because I don't want to run the batteries down. Because um, I don't want it to get too cold, and then they can't stay warm overnight. Um, we are going to be working on getting that area squared away for the batteries so that they can be warm and then I will be working on that. So that's another upcoming project guys. I mean it's like I'm trying to you know burn the candles at both ends here trying to get everything squared away and you know keep us warm. I mean the, the building's been great. Now okay I want to show you guys something too up on the, on the roof here okay. Not a lot of icicles now okay. Um, somebody was saying that all the melt that we had from the other stuff and all the icicles and everything it was because of the poor insulation job and stuff like that. 
Uh, no, the ceiling hadn't been closed up yet. That was what the problem was. Now that the ceiling is closed up, you can see, if we go throw this on top here again, you can see, and let me come on up over here. It's not melting now, okay? Got a nice fire going there. I don't know if you can see the um, stuff coming off, but uh, you can't really see the smoke, but you can see the heat resonating around that. But it's not coming off now because now the ceiling is completely up, and so the heat's not getting up into there to make the, um, this, the, the metal roof hot and melt everything. So it had nothing to do with the fact that I needed to insulate it more. No, I wanted the airflow up there and I've explained that before. So just wanted to point that out to you guys so anybody that was curious on that, you can see that it has no effect on it now. Now that the ceiling is completely done, and the air can't get up there. That warm air is not getting up there like it was before. Okay, so I just wanted to clear that up for somebody. Anyway, um, so getting back on the solar, um, you know, I will be working on that. that that's a you know um, a work in progress, obviously. Um, like I said, in the summertime, just with the 750 watts, we were running 12 to 13 hours a day on solar, and we so we had to power on all day long. Okay. So now that we have 750 more watts, so we're up to 1500 watts, once I get that all hooked up, you know, adding more batteries, upgrading my system, it'll be better. You know, um, like I said, that, because we are running the generator right now, and I said this right in the very beginning, if you go back and look at my early videos when we moved up here, my game plan was to use both for now and eventually wean out the generator altogether. That's still my game plan. I plan on having the generator strictly as a backup here down the road. Um, this year, um, this winter I should say, you know, we will be using it as much as we need to. But we're warm inside and we don't have to have the power on all the time. Again, it comes down to want and need. Now, with all the construction and stuff going on, we've been running the generator more, you know, um, as we work on things. So, you know, and there's more progress happening today. And I will do another video on that. But I really wanted to do a video focusing in on the solar, talking to you guys about that. Um, I don't need to charge them batteries up because I'm really not using the batteries. So whatever charge they get through the day from the solar, from the sun, like I said earlier today, I went in, it was in float mode. So, you know, the batteries are being drained off more at night just because of the cold. So um, that is going to be addressed very soon. We're going to work um, on getting an area in the building coordinated off, insulated really, really well, um, ventilated very well as well, and so that we can have uh, that squared away. Okay. Um, as far as the generator box, several comments about making sure I had airflow ventilation into that. I absolutely plan on doing that. Okay. Um, that was part of the game plan. It's just, you know, um, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a touch base on that when I put that video up the other day. So um, that's going to be it for right now. Um, I will give you guys more updates. There's a lot going on, guys, a lot going on. And I'm really trying to prioritize on what I get done here. And, um, you know, so I'm kind of bouncing a little bit. But we are still making progress. Things are still getting done and are getting done every day. Okay? So... Another update's coming. All right, I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.